When you are working with C++ project using VS Code, there are two different ways for code completion. First is using cppproperties.json, which is manually providing search path. The other way is to make VS Code read the path using cmakeList.txt. Strength of this method is that the code is completed in the same way your compilers read your project which means there is no mismatch between compiler and VS Code regarding code analyzing. So today, let me explain how to set up VS Code to enable this feature. First, here is how the folder structure looks like. I have example project folder where main.cpp is located. Another folder I have is include folder which has a header file that I want to include from main.cpp. Now I will install C++ extension package. By installing this, you will have multiple extensions including CMake extensions. To make our project as a CMake project, we should configure CMake list file. This can be done by CMake quick start command, where you first choose a project name. We will name exam project and inside this we want to create an executable. Once finished, CMake list file is generated and the project is configured. Please check those are generated during this process. If we go back to the main file, code completion is still not working. In CMake list file, we remove unnecessary lines. We declare include directories, which is a list of passes compilers refers for header search. When you save this, VS Code tries to configure up to date. If we go back to the main file, now error squiggle is gone, which means code completion is working now. Let us proceed to build this project using CMake list and the extension. Until so far, what we did was to configure and build the project. Now it is time to run the build output and debug it. First, let me write something in random header, very simple expression. Back to main file, and VS Code had no problem in reading the value in random header. After building this project again, let me check the build output, executable file. And we will run the file which should print something like this. Okay, final step. We now look into debugging the executable. Here, create launch.json file from this, and we click Add Configuration. Then, select Launch option, as we debug by launch on executable. If we do that, some structure is made, and we focus on this line, Program. In this line, we should provide the build output executable, which is located here inside build folder. Copy and paste the directory. In order to try debugging, set breakpoint here. If we click this button, debugging begins by launching the executable. Now we are in the debugging session where the breakpoint was hit. We can either step over or looking the variables at this point. If we hover on the variables of interest, the current value is highlighted like this.